India became the latest country on Tuesday to send a probe to Mars. And if it all goes according to plan, it will be the first time an Asian nation has completed a mission to Mars. CCTV's Shweta Bajaj now with insight. Zero, plus one, two, three, four. Lift off. Lift off normal. India's maiden Mars mission, the country's first interplanetary mission, successfully blasted off, entering Earth's orbit 44 minutes after launch. Mangalyaan is going to Mars to look for life. It's the first satellite to visit the red planet carrying a methane sensor. Detection of methane is key to unlocking secrets about life on Mars. There are two objectives for this mission. First and foremost is technology demonstration. That is our ability to build a Mars Orbiter spacecraft with the necessary payloads and then take it all the way to the environment of Mars. The second, if you are able to orbit it and conduct meaningful scientific experiments. Full success of the mission can only be confirmed in 300 days' time, when the craft reaches the Martian atmosphere. The Mangalyan, which means Mars craft in Hindi, will begin orbiting Mars by September 2014. Till now, there have been 51 Mars launches by United States and Russia, out of which only 21 have been successful. Quoting this, the chief of Indian Space Research Organization said that placing the orbiter around Mars would be a success in itself. There are also big commercial implications for the launch. India has spent 73 million US dollars on the mission, a fraction of the cost of most previous missions. It's hoped the low cost of the mission could help India grab a slice of the lucrative commercial space market. Critics have raised questions over India's need to invest in its space program while the country still has much to do fighting poverty. But officials say applications like weather forecasting and disaster management make India's space program a necessity and not a luxury. Shweta Bajaj, CCTV, New Delhi.